three count question of the week. The three count question of the week. All right. Um, Matt actually brought us this uh, this question of the week this week. Um, Devin, you just sit there and enjoy the show, okay? The the devil does not have control of this show. Um, um, but uh, can we not piss him off anymore? Last week, last week he was on our side. This week he woke up, Chase and now side. he's about to go Chris Bowflex on you. And, and, and it's it, it literally <laughs> Satan is sitting up there right now, going Chris Bowflex. <laughs> I know him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, doesn't surprise oh, me. No. <laughs> He's upset. The ice water was canceled again this week. Oh, that yeah, hurts. It uh, hurts. All right. <laughs> um, I think uh, that's the last thing Chris Bowflex said. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> come on! No. <laughs> Oh my! Oh wow! You hate to see Ooh. that happen. Now we're way off track. Ooh! Oh, this is on way Devin. Go, you, Devin. You, you put the blow on, on Devin's hand. Devin's upset. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Devin. Um, but uh, you know, with with money, uh, you know, not with elimination chamber uh, this past weekend, and uh, WWE kind of goes back to old faithful and Brock Lesnar. Um, you know, Matt kind of brought up a good question and a good point. Uh, with did Otis winning Money in the Bank and then the subsequent fallout with him, you know, ended up losing the Money in the Bank to the Miz. I mean, Miz ended up winning the championship. But did did that kill any new or unexpected finishes in in gimmick matches like the Money in the Bank, Elimination Chamber, stuff like that? Uh, kind of for the foreseeable future, do you think? Boy, does the wi- the Miz winning the championship feel like forever ago. So long ago. Wow. So long ago. Um, when did that match? When did? Oh my god! It was less than two February. years because that was like during February pandemic. Yeah, when he only had the belt for a week, didn't he? It was a two. Yeah, it was like February. It was like February at Elimination Chamber. He won it after the Chamber match, didn't he? Of two two years ago. Yeah, one 20, year ago, 21. twenty. It would have been a year ago, I think. Because twenty twenty, the, the Money in the Bank match was twenty twenty. Right, this one. Yeah, it was twenty twenty one because he wow. cashed in in February, lost it the next okay. week to Bobby, and then Bobby defended at Mania against Drew. Yeah. Drew, was that last year's Elimination Chamber? So it was a year ago. Man, That's hard to believe. That feels like a long, long time it's ago. February, that feels like February three years ago. February 21st of last year, he cashed in um, after the men's elimination chamber match for the WWE title. He cashed yes. in uh, and beat Drew really? McIntyre. So, so to answer, I guess, the, to start the, the, the firing of the question here, I don't know how much of an impact Otis winning had as much as fans coming back and them not getting behind Otis being the money in the bank briefcase holder change the route that they were going because otis was was like oh we don't have fans there we can do whatever we want and they were able to just go down this road and have otis come run around the the, the, the briefcase and mandy rose and go tucky 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 do all that fun stuff yeah. oh but, yes tucky, we have our top suspect tomato <laughs> chips yep but then, but then they started bringing fans around and then they were like what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> like this isn't gonna fuck? work. How is this guy supposed to beat Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, or Roman Reigns and win a title? It's like, no, no. His own best friend doesn't even like him. We're supposed to think he's gonna win a title? <laughs> no, I, I just think I think they were they, they were in this like shadow realm of like. Oh, we may not get fans back for a while. We can kind of do whatever we want, and then restrictions started to peel back slower and slower. And they were like, "Oh, let's get fans back in there faster and faster." And then all of a sudden, the fans were like, "This was cool whenever I could sit on my couch, but I don't want to pay ninety dollars for a ticket to see Otis Dozovich walking around with money in the brief, money in the bank briefcase, acting like he just won a subway sub for life." 
So, so that, that probably does play a huge part in it. But then <clears throat> now do you think like people say, hey, what about, you know, X person to win the Rumble or X person to win the Elimination Chamber? And they're like, no, don't you remember what fucking Otis did? <laughs> We're old Otis. Do, but do we, have, do we have anybody on the Otis level, though? Like if Matt, Riddle, I feel or, like, like if Matt Riddle or Randy Orton won the Elimination Chamber on, on Saturday afternoon instead of Brock Lesnar, I'd have been like, oh, all right, at least we have veteran guys who are good in ring that can cut decent promos. Otis was literally like the revolving blob. So what if what if Austin Theory Otis was gives red Lesnar hot, the, man? If he, Austin Theory gives Lesnar the kick to the dick and just gets the surprise pin there, it's kind of what I because I was thinking there's no way that they would do this. It's the equivalent of Miz cashing in Money in the Bank. Like it's one of those like fluke roll up and his character, I think, would have fit that perfectly. It's the do anything to win. Hey, I'm gonna take a selfie and then run for his life kind of thing. Only to lose it a week later to whomever they want to go into Mania with the belt. Right, but if, the fact that we don't get that, do you think Aunt Otis's briefcase holding has any impact on decisions I, like that? I don't because I think the plan after they knew they weren't getting Rocky was always Roman versus Brock. And I think the only other person that was walking into Mania with the title was Bobby Lashley. And with him going down, their immediate thought process was we can main event the women's on night one and we can main event the champion versus champion on night two and we can get the hell out of Texas. Right, but I mean, they could just as easily have had Theory win on the kick to the dick and then the next time on Raw... Brock just F fives him eighteen straight times and, and gets the pin and the if, title. If that show is in Waco, Texas or Boston, Massachusetts, I agree with you. The fact that it's in Saudi Arabia and it seems like Brock Lesnar is the second most over person in Saudi Arabia, not named Bill Goldberg. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that was a decision that they made to get the cheers for Brock because Brock is obviously the face going into this into this title versus title match at Mania. Um, yeah. So I, I, I think I think it was served. I think it served the purpose of Bobby's not going to get medically cleared, so we can't have Bobby with the belt. Let's get the belt to Brock now to give us the couple weeks to build the promos of champion versus champion. I, I mean, if you were going to have anybody not named Brock walk out of the, the chamber with the title, I would have been fine with Seth or Riddle because I think you could have gotten good matches out of whomever they face at, at Mania for the title. But it just seemed like this was always the route they were going to go when they basically found out that The Rock was going to film movies instead of wrestling inside of Cowboy Stadium. So I just I mean, putting the, title versus title is fine. I'm just happy that it's not a unification match because eventually one of them is going to lose a world title to somebody right. and it's going to yeah. make a difference. Right. I think the title being on the <clears> line <throat> certainly impacts as well. Like if this is for a number one contender spot instead of the actual title, then I think there's also more believability if someone like an Austin Theory walks away with with a win or a Matt Riddle. Correct. Correct. If they're I, winning to if they're if they're winning a shot at the belt at Mania, it makes a whole lot difference than walking out with the belt. Yeah, and I, I guess think, that's yeah. the question then. Like, do we think that they do that anytime soon? For like I think a you, title I shot? Think you could see an Austin Theory or somebody like that winning Money in the I Bank. See, I, I, yeah, I, think, I was gonna say I could I could see Theory or Riddle walking out of Money in the Bank with 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 the contract. I think the Chamber being this close to Mania is more of the issue than it is Otis winning Money in the Bank. Now, do I think I think do I think we're gonna have a like Otis was is like was like a complete like long shot, you know the, the ten thousand to one odds to, to to win money in the bank. Do I think we see somebody with with that few odds if you're if you're looking at it from like a gambling perspective, um, win money in the bank again or or you know a chamber match even for a number one contender? Probably not. Um, and I think maybe the the Otis fallout has something to do with it. I think the return to fan because yeah that that. That time period in the Thunderdome and the Performance Center was this magical world where um, reactions didn't matter because there were no reactions. So WWE could literally do whatever they want. And in, in some cases, I think some people just watched as a distraction, at least at the start. I mean, it, it was, you know, what's, this, what's it going to look like? What's it going to be like? And 
God damn, I, I just want to see something that isn't depressing. I can't leave I can't leave my house. I don't want to watch the news anymore. There's <laughs> right. no real sports on. I have something to watch that's that's this new. This is at least something new, and I've watched <clears throat> the Cornhole Championship on ESPN for the last Correct. six hours. Uh, so uh, so if you if you looked at the roster right now and just, just off the top of your guys' head, who would be the equivalent to Otis of the roster right now? The ten thousand to one long shot that you couldn't ever see really win money in the bank or an elimination chamber. Like, is, is this the, is this if like they the, put them in the match? There's a chance for them to win it. Like to me, I think it's that simple. I mean, if, if you're going to put I mean, Mad Cat Moss in and Mad I Cat mean, Moss could uh, win it. 30 people. I mean, if, you're, know, if, you're if you put though, Veer Mahan in the that, match, Veer might be able to win it. If you're he telling may. me at 10,000 to one, like it's Dominic Mysterio. Like, no, that was the I first don't name. think Dominic Mysterio is winning. Money Rick Boogs, maybe. Boogs, Boogs. I think one, yeah. I think Boogs is probably the closest that they have. Boogs is kind of a comedy spot yeah. that's really nowhere on the roster that some people enjoy. That I feel is exactly what we had with Otis. I thought mm-hmm. Otis was over like crazy. I thought the Mandy he and was. Otis vignettes he w- were he were popping off, especially on social media. So roll the dice. I think the WWE did themselves a disservice. Here's the, if you wanted to put the championship on Miz, you can just work Miz in because wins and losses don't matter and just build a storyline. Just have Otis lose the briefcase. Cash it in, lose, move on, move to Miz, um, storyline for a month, get the championship belt on him. Matt, right. Matt, you forgot to announce the Yeti. I, the I was going to as I... I <laughs> showing up. This is like tar pouring out of this. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> You can see like that's, that's that thing. Yete is ready wow. to be consumed. That that's is a beautiful. Have you had the Yete before? I have not. No. This. Let's see the we, percentage we we're looking at here because this has also been aged for three years, and this one is a twelve and a half percenter. Man, that's a that's lot of percentage. Good tonight. I there, am. There, Matt. But are you uh, going to sell that can on eBay later? <laughs> yes ten dollars that's fair but wait i Worth have to take tipping. a picture of it with my thumb over like half the can and put it up there i still have uh an early run broken skull ipa can over here <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to top out in value i've been holding on to that one <laughs> So the guys, uh, every week when the guys pick up your recyclables, Jen, they're looking in there for it. Yeah, right. yeah I see it. They're scanning through it. And they're and taking I, this of the week. Mrs. Big Jim made them throw the it out. And I yell, not today, boys. Not today. <laughs> it's not, not this isn't their week to retire early. I tell you what. Um, but, yeah, I think it's I think it's more timing for the um, – when it comes to the chamber match because they, they, that seems to have found its place in the, in the period between um, – the Rumble and Mania. Um, yeah, Theory is not going to carry the championship into WrestleMania. Is, right. No. Is, no. Is, Chamber, no. is Chamber's issue that it's so close to Rumble that it's like gimmick match, gimmick match, and then it's like, oh, we're here at the big show? Like, would it be would it be better suited, like, I mean, Chamber October? used to be after Mania, didn't it? Wasn't it, did. that, it used to it be used to the one right after? Well, and right before, it was like two after so it was like payback, and then because because I if, if yeah, I always had like wrestling was between Maybe. Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, fast lane. Beep, beep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Thank you, Devil. Was between Rumble and Mania because that was kind of the the play. Um, okay. And then Chamber, I think, was because I think it was like Payback and then Chamber, so it was like May or something. Yeah, um, and then there was Money in the Bank, and then filler before SummerSlam. Yeah, so yeah, like Money Great Balls of Fire. June. Great Balls of Fire was July, yeah. Um, yeah. and SummerSlam was like Night of Champions. Yeah, um, but now I think. Money in the Bank is July because that one's that that's that's a big that show, right? In Vegas, yeah, it's it's in July at 
uh, Legion Stadium. Legion Stadium, and then they do the big stadium for big for, show. For, you say he's in AEW now. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no BS, BS, Paul. No BS. No Paul. BS. Um, but yeah, I think it's more timing for the chamber as opposed. To, I, I don't necessarily think it's. it's I, I feel like the chamber it's in an awkward would be, spot. Would be better suited at the end of the year, like October. Yeah, that'd be a good October pay per view. I mean, Maybe Money in the Bank's probably the most likely we'll ever see a comedy act or a or an unknown. Or so, looking at the twenty nineteen. The 2019 pay-per-view schedule, it was Rumble, Chamber, Fastlane, Mania, Money in the Bank, Super, Super Showdown, Stomping Ground, Extreme Extreme Rules, SummerSlam, Clash of Champions, Hell in the Cell, Crown Jewel, Survivor Series, and then TLC. God, we mm-hmm. had like 46 premium events then. There was, there was a lot of premium live can, events. Can was. WWE get rid of TLC and just make was, the December show Starcade? Can well, they do TLT rid- and stairs? <laughs> Can they just get rid of, of like gimmick match pay per views? Was like, 2019 the year we had Raw and SmackDown pay per views every month? Um, I think that was like 18 or 17. That was okay. like, that I think was, that was. I think that was. I think that was 17. Because I remember that was it was. Oh was, God. I mean, we had was, the network at that point, so it was thankful. Yeah, it was, I wasn't it was, having to see that. Pay. That was seven. That was 17 because you had the Rumble and then you had Elimination Chamber was a SmackDown show. Fastlane was a Raw show. The <laughs> Payback, Backlash, Extreme Rules, Money in the Bank, Great Balls of Fire. Yeah, no, this is this is an awful fucking, this is an awful <laughs> fucking calendar. How are so, any of us still fans after this year? <laughs> Honestly, how do we not just like, nope, we've aged out, we're done. We, 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 we made it through 2017 right now. I don't think this would get worse, guys. So, we, yeah, it, it, it we're bottomed on. I want to say, I, I think my Facebook memories today said that the network dropped like yesterday. Today, it was seven seven years today. Ago. It was eight, today. eight years ago. It was on this yeah, it day. It was on this day. Yeah, on this day. On this day. Those. On this day. <laughs> 2015. Um, you know, it's really a question so of what 14. if Matt listened. Is 14. <laughs> so Wait, they all moved. If... Hold on. So... It's there. I promise. Wait, there it is. <laughs> so I thought you were going to play the who that. gives a shit. <laughs> well, there, well there, is that, there is that one, too. It's who a good one. gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, I just think I just think Elimination Chamber is just one of those weird shows. I was at the one in 2020 where Shayna Baszler had like the weirdest Elimination Chamber run of all time, where she just choked everybody out before the next chamber door opened, and then the world just like stopped for about two years. And now we're back, and it's another Elimination Chamber where we're just kind of like. The fuck just like, I, I hate that they have to Good like match, but like what the fuck? Like an, an elimination chamber match isn't a match that should be like forced to happen every year. Like an elimination chamber match is when there there should be six competitors that have like a have a legitimate inter, inter interweaving. Yes, like that that are all you know in battle for the for the title or a number one contender spot, and you can't figure out who deserves it more. Um, nope. and we can't start applying logic here, Jim. This, well, this is not true. the line that's to start true. applying Whatever. logic can we, on. Can we change it from Elimination Chamber to Battle Bowl and start having tag teams get uh-huh. randomly drawn and paired up against each yeah. other? Perfect. That was I so bad. It. You Battle want Bowl. to do something with tag teams? <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> Buddy. That's a good point, Devil. Uh, oh, Satan. You, well, Devil, you know... You know Vince pretty well, right? Maybe just put a bug in his ear. He knows his soul well. He's got no oh, that it? Just, I, just tell I transferred the contract of Vince McMahon's soul to a N-Con. Oh. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. And he gave you that, what? what, to beat Ted Turner, right? That was the price he paid? Yeah, the rest of that library money had to go somewhere, right? <laughs> I mean, you, you could have told Chris Bowflex. You probably could have told someone. No, not the Bowflex. He knows the guy. We might as well use it to make sense. So, Jim, what I think uh, I think we stumbled onto to next week's question of the week would be 
if we had to get rid of one of the gimmick pay per views and just put the match maybe on Mania. Or just I, mean, put the I, match I, I would obviously. I think. I think it would just go back to Money in the Bank, right? I don't think I that needs to be a pay per view. Yeah, that, I'd rather that, that, that be fun yeah. of Mania at event. Mania. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. want you want yeah, two yeah, Money in the Bank ladder fun. matches at Mania? Then. Get rid of those just stupid fucking all meeting with Battle Royals. Can I actually make a wrestling point? No, no, sure. you're a devil. in a wrestling podcast. You devil. I know, I know. Typically, hey, devil. I, I would assume you would like you would probably goldfish or whales. Oh, one hundred percent whales. Yeah, you would. I knew Jeez. it. <laughs> that makes sense. I knew it. He's that evil. He's a heel. He's a heel. Devil, before you make your wrestling point work, how tails spawned down where you live? Is that where they were created initially? Yes. Makes sense. That would make sense. I figured as much. That would make sense. Devil, what is your sense. favorite candy? <laughs> oh, it would absolutely be black licorice. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, and and Devil, no. your your mother really enjoyed those circus something, right? Was that was that her? Um, even we don't like circus peanuts. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! Okay. Not even okay. the hell. Wow. Leaders, Peanuts are not wow, all, of this, all of this checks out. Like, You're if we want to torture hell. the really bad ones, that's what we so that's what it's... Chris Boflex has been eating for the last like <laughs> when he gets out of line, Teddy dies. Circus, circus Peanuts, yeah. circus, but circus peanuts. if I'm able to make a wrestling point, I feel like Money in the Bank is too high profile of a match in the WWE, it is very much like the mid-year Royal Rumble. Winning money in the bank is such an important piece of WWE that having that be a gimmick match that stands alone, it's it, it, it has become the newest big four aside from sur take Survivor Series away and give me money in the bank. And Money in the Bank is your fourth big show. You have Rumble, Mania, Money in the Bank, and SummerSlam. Yeah, I don't think then anybody we, would miss Survivor Series. That's then, the garbage then, no. would, it, would it make more sense to move Money in the Bank from Summer to take Survivor Series spot altogether? I think no. At the end of the year? No, because to me, to have it be in the middle of the year, it's with the caveat of you have a full year to use it. So putting it in the middle gives you as early as SummerSlam and as late as Mania with that wiggle room. If you put it in the late months in wrestling's dead period, no one's going to pay any attention to it. That's a good point. That's a good point. When, when the devil's right, the devil's right. The devil. Uh, Got to give the devil his due here, Jim. I, I agree God. that I don't think you can put it on Mania because it is... And with two ladder matches, what are you going to have the men and women inter intermingle like we did with the Otis Asuka win? Because you got to keep giving the women their money in the bank. You can't just stop yeah, you can't that match. Not now. do a women's. I was say, you could alternate them, if anything, if you're taking that away and putting that as the main I mean, match. I, I just. Does the I, women's if you, money if in the you bank actually have a decent track record, though? I mean, but the first you, one was the Ellsworth thing. Nights, if you stay on two nights, you can put one on each night, and it's not the worst thing but still not great i just don't think they need like i think they need to get away from like i'm fine with money in the bank having their ladder matches and having the show but like otherwise tlc elimination chamber hell in a cell any of those like can we get away like have those matches only when they make sense like I think I think the only two gimmick matches that should have their own premium live events were actually three: Royal Rumble, well, right, Money, in the, Money in the Bank, War Games. Only ones I think that should actually have their own. Now, I mean, Mike, you went to the Elimination Chamber. How was it like being in the audience? In War Games. War Games. War Games. War like I, I know the critique of those cell cage type matches is viewership when you're there live is kind of shitty. Like, the, was that the experience? It it didn't come off as bad as I thought it was going to because I kind of went in with like, wow, I'm going to be staring at like 
someone's back when they're in the chain in, in the pod. I'm not gonna be able to see because we were kind of catty corner, so we had an angle where we would be staring at the pod basically. But it wasn't it wasn't not like it, it it's not great. Like it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it's not oh look, there's a distraction or something's catching my attention every time. I was able to keep my eyes on the match. I was able to keep focused on what was going on. But it, it's not like, oh, it's a ladder match where there's a car crash every every spot. So it wasn't it wasn't terrible. I think a cage match is better to watch in person than an elimination chamber because okay. you don't have the, the the pod basically where someone like you're staring at somebody's back the entire time. And if I'm not mistaken, the other chamber match that night was a tag team chamber match, and it kind of was like. If a tag team is in that pod for an extended period of time, like you're basically looking at the back of somebody for like 12 minutes. <laughs> um, and it's just like, oh, great. I'm going to stare at the back of Jimmy and Jay Uso. They go hard or, in the paint. <laughs> or the Lucha House upset. Party. And see, see, but that's, I think the thing with the Elimination Chamber, like dealing with staring at the back of Lucha House Party was, was, okay because i got to watch grand metal league or lince dorado literally fall from the top of something and not die it, it, you take you, you take the spot and you're like oh cool i got to see that really awesome spot that may never happen again but i also had to sit through staring at the back of someone's head for seven minutes it's understandable i think that the hell in a cell match pay-per-view should go away every year and they should do the punjabi prison pay-per-view that would there's a choice Solve I've, all I've the problem. Seen, I've seen um, the Hell in a Cell at Mania. I've also been to a Hell in a Cell show, the one where Paul Heyman ended up on the top in Miami. Me and Joe went to that one. That one was a little bit harder to watch because when was when was the, the Hell in a Cell at Mania? The end of an era. And also, uh, what's his face Shane, versus Undertaker? Vince Shane, is uh, the big, the Shane, big Shane, Shane, Shane Mitchell. Was that it? Shane. Shane Steve. Mitchell. It was Steve McMahon. Steve McMahon. Mm, mm, Steve. Mm, mm. He he was cousins with uh, the the was it the the Steve Austin guy the right um the three the, the best the in the money. world Shane Mitchell that must be it uh, yeah. no no I thought I thought I thought it was Shane McMichael son of Mongo. You know what? That's the one. That's it. Oh, yeah. that's, that's who it was. One. That's it. Um, Kenny, guys, my bad. I just, right. I, just I'm, I don't know what it got me thinking about Mania match. How many, how many cage matches have been at like a, a, a cage match at Mania? One. Uh, two, one. Just one? Two, WrestleMania two. two. Is that it? Two. Well, no, I'm just saying in the in the last ten that I've been to, I know for sure that there was one in Orlando. It was a uh... fuck. Who a was that cage match. match? It was. I think it was. Braun uh, Strowman fought Shane Mitchell. Ah, Shane, that's Shane, right. Shane, 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 Mongo McMichael. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Shane McMichael was a bully, and he yeah. was yeah. bullying poor. Yeah, that's right. Strowman. That yeah. was in a cage. That was in a cage. Yeah. So that was so that, that was the one, the stupid. pandemic one though, right? No, no, no that was mm-hmm. the one where Roman ended Undertaker for good, and they had the very crying where where he he took his gloves off and left it oh. in the ring. Oh, okay. And yeah, because Shane McMichael did a table spot. He's not doing that for no crowd. No, God no. Back, no. <laughs> there's Good also point. there's Good also point. the the kennel from hell match. Yep. Or was oh, that, that, that was Boss Man it got hung? No, it was Boss Man Undertaker at fourteen. That was fifteen. 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 I'm just thinking now yeah. anymore. Where would they hide the cage with like the way they set up for Mania anymore? Well, it just goes. It just goes up inside. I understand the- that, but that was a big gap between ring and like the fixturing. I thought. Yeah. I just it would be hard to hide. Or- Orlando, Orlando's. It actually, it went right in. There was like a LED screen. Yeah, and it literally and way up, right okay. up. All the, all the, the, way up. That's over, the cover that's over the ring. That's interesting. Yeah, With the video right, boards and all that, there. it just tucks yep. up into there. Is that right? No, I'll be <laughs> darned. Serious. Are you serious? Uh, is 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 Are Satan still here? Satan, who's your favorite wrestler? Oh well, he's right next to me, of course. 
Chris Bowflex? That's right. Yes. Let's take a haystack, Calvin. If you had to make a top five, Satan, um, Chris Bowflex is number one. Who would your who would the other four to round out the top five? Uh, Jimmy, Mount Rushmore, even. Jimmy Snooker makes the Grizzly list. Grizzly Smith out. has to be in there. Um, no, Grizzly's Grizzly did some bad stuff, but he's like he 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 doesn't make it here, but he doesn't go up there. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> he's in purgatory. <laughs> yeah, he's in purgatory. Um. I really thought he would be the devil's advocate. But I you guess guys not. are big independent wrestling fans, right? Yeah, big we know enough. about independent wrestling. Sure. Like, sure. Okay. Uh-oh. I mean, you're proponents of independent wrestling. There's a guy by the name of uh, Rock and Rebel. Oh, um, I knew it. I knew it. That, that'll do it. Uh, he he's uh. he's a big favorite of mine. Um, and if I had to round out the Mount Rushmore of my favorite, yeah, it's probably Natalia, right? Well, no, come it's, on. Actually, it, it's actually the <laughs> fabulous moolah. Oh yeah, she, yeah, that checks out. That, yeah. That's, you always got to. You always out. have to include. You know, you know what they say about the devil. He's always about inclusion. <laughs> is that and moolah is the uh, root of all I, evil. <laughs> I mean, I have inclusion. posters up everywhere here that just say the devil's about inclusion. <laughs> so. I would know what we say about the devil. I, I would. You're right. I would not know. I just. I've never heard that phrase. But you know, the devil's I, about included. You don't visit enough, Jim. You're right. I don't. I don't. I just. Uh, I just. I just want to say for the record. Uh, I think we were actually wrong about the Braun Strowman versus uh, Shane McMichaels. That was the last year, wasn't it? Uh, I, I think I it was. Say, that. Yeah, because the, the the no, what was it in Tampa? I was in Tampa. I don't remember it being. That was definitely last year because he threw off the side of it, right? I'll just say the mania that I was talking about with the Roman thing, that was AJ Styles versus Shane McMichaels in a pretty damn good That's right. Holds barred match. That's that, WrestleMania that match of all time. Sorry, I just I just had to, you know, make Matt that. Matt knows. I know. I, I, I said it for Matt. He's shy. He doesn't like No, that. because – what the hell? That was a really good match. I remember that. We should talk about that match. We should do a watch yes, along to that match. We should. Oh God, we should. Shane McMichaels. To that match. Um, all right. It was. It was. Okay, it was you... last. It was last year's match. It was last year's. And that was just a regular old cage match. Yep, still cage match. Oh, okay. That was still in front of a crowd. Correct. That was. Yeah. Yeah. No, my. Yeah. Um, any any other thoughts on on this or uh, the original question of the week? Hey, hey, Satan. Yes. <laughs> Who are the five greatest rappers of all time? Uh, that no, is can't. the easiest answer in the history of the world. Uh, that is uh, Dylon, 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 and Dylon. Is it because he spits hot fire? He rips and he rhymes and he rhymes and he rips because that's the way Dylon spit. Spits hot fire. What's going on here anymore? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. The devil's rapping. Oh. Do we want to take a break or do we want to keep? Dude, we just, we want can to... just stop. Nobody's even listening anymore. Just want to press on. Devin's still here. <laughs> Hi, Hi Devin. Devin. He got he got surprised. The devil fucking went there. Oh, the devil went there. The devil the went devil. there. Well, the you, think, went you think I went got down to limits? Georgia? Say the devil does. I'm like, the, ex, I'm like the X division, baby. There's no limits. <laughs> no limits. 